Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're moving away from Catoosa and Walker counties in Georgia and over to Sullivan County, Tennessee for September 22, 1863. This is where Union Lieutenant Colonel John Foster commanded one brigade of 1,500 Union men for a battle that would partially occur on a cemetery located on a hill that would later be called City of the Dead. Against Foster stood Confederate Colonel James Carter and his 1,200 men. The end result would be a Union victory that would start the process of the Union attempting to push out the Confederate forces from East Tennessee. First, we should make it clear that while Tennessee was part of the Confederacy, that in East Tennessee there was a very strong pro-Union sentiment. As a reminder, not all people that lived in the South supported the new slave republic. Union Major General Ambrose E. Burnside, along with his lovely facial hair, had moved more than 24,000 Union troops as part of the Army of Ohio into the area to secure the East Tennessee and Virginia Railroad. The retreat of the Confederate forces allowed Burnside to move into and secure the Cumberland Gap, forcing the Confederates to try and stop the Union at Carter's Depot, where they held the bridges over the Watuga River. Burnside dispatched Union Lieutenant Colonel Foster and 1,500 men to try and burn the railroad bridges near Bristol on September 19th which Foster did with little problems. On his way back, though, is where Foster attempted to attack Zola Coffer Station, a Confederate strong point located in the area from an unexpected direction. The Confederate defenders at Beaver Creek stopped Foster on September 20th. In return, Foster attempted again on September 22nd in Blountville, but he was unexpectedly attacked by Confederate Colonel James Carter. The battle started with a four-hour artillery duel between both sides across the entire length of the town, with no success except to set fire to more than a dozen buildings. Foster's soldiers used a confusion of the fire to attack, resulting in the end of the battle occurring on a cemetery known as the City of the Dead. There are stories that while many businesses were destroyed during the battle, Deary Inn survived due to the owners bribing both the Union and Confederacy to not attack their business. This is an apocryphal story, but would not be impossible to happen. Around nightfall, Foster ordered his last artillery bombardment followed by a charge, finally pushing Carter out of the area. The final casualty count was 27 Union soldiers. At least six were killed, 14 wounded, with the Confederates suffering about five times that with 165 men killed, wounded, missing, or captured. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know Civil War Battles for the Battle of Sterling's Plantation at Point Coopie Parish, Louisiana on September 29th.